Hi, I'm Muhammad Shasho. I'm 17 years old. I'm a refugee from Aleppo, Syria. And here's my video journal. Today I want to talk about the day I left Syria and never came back. We took everything with us. Even though they said it was just one month, but that month, that one month didn't end. Leaving your homeland feels like leaving part of your soul. It's like taking medicine, but my soul keeps rejecting this medicine. Our first stop was Turkey. From there, my father went to Greece by a boat and then on to Germany. He knew that the trip was too dangerous for, for the whole family, so he went ahead by himself. I remember seeing my dad when we said goodbye to him and I saw him, he, he broke into tears, you know. I saw my mom praying in tears. I remember when my dad turned around. Uh, he started crying, but he turned away so that we can see it. And he continued to walk. Yeah. So, um, jeden Tag, ich fahre zu äh, meinem Krankenhaus und ich gehe neben die Straße. Viele Menschen hatten getötet, raus, gewerfen. Die Tags war neben mein, mein Wohnung, in der Straße und schützen. Und die Bombe? <lacht> <lacht> Viele Menschen hat verletzt, wenn sie waren demonstriert, demonstration gegen die Regierung. Und wenn ein verletzt, man kommt zum Krankenhaus. Die Polizei kommt von diesem Krankenhaus und verhaftet diese verletzt und auch stoßen diese verletzt. Wir machen ein in, in, äh, in Geheimnis verletz, äh, behandelt. Diese Verletzung. Die Verletzung der Transport zum ein Wohnung und wir haben diese Verletzte zu Hause. Viele Verletzte hat getötet, weil gibt es keine äh, Plot, keine äh, Anästhesiemaschine. So, ich habe gedacht, das muss ich rausgehen und flüchten. Sal, schaur, dass ich in Syrien oder jemand, der mich in Syrien oder Halab, ich habe es nicht verletzt. Ich habe es nicht verletzt. Ich habe es nicht verletzt. Ich habe بس وقت بلا شعور وقت حدا بسكر لي سوريا أو حلب أو بسكرني بالماضي فبترجع هيك الذكريات من أول جديد I want to make this film not just to show my own story I want to give other refugees the opportunity to show you the glimpse of their journeys. There is a war out there, there are the people who are getting damaged from it, and these are the people. I للشأل السوريين إنه هن بأخلاقهم بمعاملتهم الحسنة يعني يكون مثال أعلى بهالبلاد الغربة يعني إحنا بنمثل شعبنا فلازم يكون يعني يكون ولادي يمثلون بصورة حلوة. Such an important meaning in life to have such a good family that helps you that 
it's always there. Like you always know that there's always someone who's gonna give you this little push in your back and say, go on, we are right here. We have your back. My parents sacrificed a lot of things for us. My mom had to be strong to keep the family together while we were separated from my father. And right now, a big challenge for my father is that he's not allowed yet to work until he passes his German language test. But everything needs patience and everyone's going to be rewarded for his patience. So we are here at the refugee shelter and this is one of the reasons that I want to do this movie is to show you the story of us, those refugees that are living here. Let's start with how many people you have. Uh, so we have 300 refugees uh, from different countries. Uh, after the war in, uh, in Syria and after this, uh, the refugees crisis in Europe, uh, came, uh, I think, in 2015, 2014-2015, uh, almost one million refugees to Germany. Uh, the refugees first, the, what they call it, uh, emergency shelters. And emergency shelters, you don't have uh, a private em environment. And this is difficult for many people. So, and the only solution was to build uh, a finished home. They have this concept of containers. It looks like apartments. So they get this feeling that they are at home again. What was the most thing, the hardest thing for you as you were in Syria? I don't feel safe at home, outside, in the streets. It was a really uh, horrible life. The bombs coming here and here. It's, it's to, to be or not to be, to live or to die. And maybe you will come back to your children or maybe not. <laughs> There is no home for us. Uh, our home is destroyed. I think that is the worst things in the world is to lost your home. It's really a big problem when you have just a son who has like autism and then to live with him in a, with, with the war, it's, it's a horrible life. When you live in Syria, you know that uh, you, you should live. You should find a way to live. My man was here before me two months. I came alone with the three children. And then we escaped in the, in the sea. My son was very, very small, so he can't walk. I have him all the time here. So it was horrible for me because really I don't know how to swim. And I have three children with me. So I faced so many difficulties in, in my journey. And then I arrived in Berlin and he was waiting me. That's our new home. That's, uh, it's a simple home, but it's okay for us. Uh, here the children sleep and they spend uh, most of their days. And we have another room. See, we sleep here. And we, we are very lucky we have a small kitchen here. So we can make our food here alone. <laughs> Nobody share us. Uh, I think in Syria, every family has somebody lost. So well, I wish this, uh, the war in Syria stop soon and uh, our children have a good life and a quiet life here. The most uh, challenging things here uh, that to keep the people happy. Uh, we don't make difference between religion or between nationality or between race. We are human beings uh, and we should treat like human beings.
It's different here, Muhammad. Completely different. It's not like in our home. Our traditions, our culture, our language are all gone. Everything is foreign and only loneliness is your friend. There's only the hole that strangeness leaves in my heart. Every day it gets bigger and bigger. When I'm on stage, I hear nobody. It's just me, the stage, and my acting. Theater means a lot to me. I can be who I want to be. I, I discover another me. Also was uns hier ganz wichtig ist im Theater, ist, dass das hier ein Ort ist, ein, ja, ein Space without borders. Also ganz im Gegensatz zum Rest der Welt, wo überall Mauern und Grenzen jetzt entstehen, dass wir die hier wirklich ganz beiseite lassen. Dass es ein Ort ist, wo sich Menschen begegnen können, ganz egal mit welchem kulturellen Hintergrund, sondern dass es wirklich um ein gleichberechtigtes Miteinander geht. I mean a lot of other refugees, teenagers who came here alone, and they became very dear to me. Ich bin zwei, zwei Tage in, de, in den LKW ohne, ohne Essen, ohne Toilette geblieben, weil, sie, weil der Fahrer Angst von der Polizei hatte. Er hatte mich gesehen, als ob ich ein Produkt bin. Ich bin Geflüchteter. Ich bin hierher gekommen, um zufrieden zu haben. Und ich schäme mich nicht dafür. Was Deutschland bietet. Ich bin, ich bin hierher gekommen, um, 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 um mich weiterzubilden um zu lernen, um ganz normaler Mensch zu sein. Heimweh? Ja. Heimweh, man, man muss das haben. Wenn, aber für mich eine Heimat ist, wo ich lebe, wo ich zufrieden bin. Das ist für mich Heimat. From Berlin. Keine Bitches. Yeah. شعب عايش بالمرض وخايف من بكره وناس الحاضر عم يرجع فكره لا ورا والبشر عم ينظف حكى الصحراء فلوسفه يا زو است اي مينش في الي لويتا زو اي هات رشته في الي لويتا اون داس موس اوخ زين دار مانش لويتا هاسن اونس مانش لويتا موجن اونس اون مانش لويتا هابن انكست Wir haben sich gefühlt auf dem Boot. Also wir waren 340 Personen auf kleinem Boot. Auch äh, es war mit uns Frauen und Kinder und auch schwangere Frauen. Als ich im Boot war, habe ich ein Gefühl bekommen, dass ich gestorben würde. Und dass ich nie wieder meine Familie sehen konnte. Das war einfach wie ein Träum.
In Zukunft wird er also Traum ist, Zahnarzt zu sein. Und alle Leute zufrieden leben. Und alle Religionen lieben sich. Alle Leute lieben sich. Niemand sagt, dass er schwarz ist oder weiß ist. Und niemand sagt, dass er Muslim ist oder Jude ist. In Syria, yeah, it's the definition of danger right now. And then coming here and seeing this happen means that danger is everywhere. I can't explain how much I respect the German society, like especially in Berlin. Like the people here are strong, and this thing could never shake them. Seeing all these photos, all this videos. I have plans of nightmares. But it was so. People fly like flies. I was just so mad. You always want something to stop this, you know? You gotta be strong in life to go on. Like you can't always hide. Germany is the new start, the new beginning, my new life. When I came here, I had a goal in my mind, I had a motivation. Like coming here, it's, it's true that it's a new country, it's true that it's culture, it's, it's totally different. I didn't find the change, I accepted it. Since I came to Berlin and learned the, the German history, the memories of German, Germany's own wall are everywhere. It's ironic that the city that was so destroyed during World War II and the people once fled from and lost their home is now the city that welcomes people who also fled war and lost their homes. The irony, like, it strikes you every day. My biggest challenge here in Germany was to learn the language as fast and as good as possible so that I can integrate in the German society and continuing the school because the school was the main goal here in Germany for me. Since I was a kid, I always loved to go to school. It was such a holy place to me. It was my second home. Mainly, the school decides our future because of the civil war a whole two generations are gone. There are a lot of kids at my age, 16, 17, 18, who are fighting with the rebellions right now. There is a lot of them who, who can't even leave Syria. And their educational and their social life is gone. All of this disgrace is gone. To us, 
teenagers, the refugee teenagers, school is like the first gate to interact with the German culture. Can you describe what it was like for you to integrate into German society? Going to a new country and integrate to a new society, it has a twist. Either you, it's like a wave. Either you ride it or you fight it. You know? So the secret is is to know how to ride the wave so you can, like, you can use it to get to your own way. You said uh, riding the wave is the secret. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you deal with the Germans? How do you um, get on with them? These differences, you just need to accept them and learn from them, you know, combine what you know and what what you get from here so that you can get the Join best that. the best thing. Ich hatte ich habe neue Erfahrungen bekommen, neue Wirklichkeit und heißt die äh, Kultur, neue Kultur. Und es ist immer gut, wenn man so andere Kultur lernen, andere Sprache. What do you miss most about from where you came from? Uh, I missed my family, my family, my friends, my school, my home, uh, <laughs> everything. Childhood. What about you? Childhood. I miss my childhood back. Um, it's like some that six years is stolen from you, you know. I lost my home. I lost my country. This all safe, very good life is lost. But I got motivation to get everything right after this war ends. You have always this tiny flame. It's always burning and then when the memories come, it fuels the flame and just start to roar and you always have this feeling right there there's something missing there's a lot of people they're sort of shame of being a refugee they think nah nah i don't mean call refugee or if he called me refugee he's he's not respecting me or insulting me i don't think so i am a refugee because i have a home to go back to i am a refugee because I have a target to reach. I left it for an amount of time, but at the end, I'm going back. Like six years and it's not ending. All those people who are dying right now, I want to pay back for their lives. My dream is to be a doctor. I want to study at Harvard. After when I build myself, I want to go back to Syria and uh, start building it. And that's my dream, to make a free, new, very developed Syria.